Uh, the big Chinese lenders in focus. What are we expecting and how much do, do the fundamentals really differ compared to what we're seeing play out in the US and Europe? Yeah, so a number of China mega banks are reporting earnings Thursday, and they might be able to offer some relative calm to investors amid the global banking turmoil. So they have actually so far proved themselves to be less susceptible to the saga by outperforming the U.S. and Europe peers in the stock market. And we are actually expecting these big lenders, including ICBC, Bank of China, Agricultural Bank of China, to post steady gains. And ICBC, the world's largest bank by assets in the world, may see a 2.7% percent increase in its full year net income compared to a year earlier. Well, importantly, we're also expecting earnings from Chinese property developers with Country Garden Holdings expected to post its first annual net loss since listing. What do you expect there? Yeah. So Country Garden earlier warned of a preliminary net loss of up to 7.5 billion yuan, and that would actually be its first full-year net loss since its Hong Kong listing in 2007. And we're expecting the company to continue to see earnings pressure and risk a margin squeeze this year as it struggles to raise its sell-through rates in lower-tier cities. So investors will be watching out for any comments and outlook on the China's property sector, which has actually shown signs of early like stabilization. We had Santa Pact over the weekend. Petro China Sino Core also due out this week. What are the expectations there? Right, Petro China's prelim net income jumped up to 68%, while CNOT expects its full year net income to roughly double. And a very strong result from CNOT would actually be a record breaker due to a rising price in oil and gas, and that's according to our own BI analysts. For Genfeng Lithium, the company's prelim net income jumped 292%, and that's because it's, uh, the price of its lithium salt products rose significantly last year due to a very strong demand from downstream customers.